Model Connect is a neutral integration platform that provides innovative solutions for integrating existing and new virtual or real components and enables a holistic view on the overall system behavior at every step of the model-based development cycle. From virtual in the office to real on hill systems and test beds. Model Connect enables seamless connection of various commonly used simulation software. My name is Marko Kolaric and I'm an analysis engineer at AVL. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to prepare a co-simulation using FMUs of several different softwares. Models can be integrated using standardized interfaces, such as the functional mock-up interface, as well as a wide range of specific interfaces to well-known simulation tools. This example demonstrates the integration of FMU units. The purpose of this model is to connect a driveline model to an engine model. They are controlled by the driver. The driver controls the vehicle in order to follow the speed profile defined in the new European driving cycle. The engine model is connected to the vehicle thermal management system, which controls the engine thermal transfer. The driveline model was created in AVL Cruise. The engine model and the vehicle thermal management system model are created in AVL Cruise M. This is the engine model and this is the VTMS model. The driver model is implemented in MATLAB Simulink. The FMU elements created out of the previously shown models are used in this example. The desired velocity and the desired gear are defined in the signal table and are used as inputs to the driveline and the driver components. The driver receives the desired velocity from the NEDC table and the actual velocity from the driveline. Depending on the velocity error, it creates the load signal which is sent to the engine. The engine communicates with the driveline in order to provide the requested engine torque. The driveline receives the desired gear from the NEDC table, communicates with the engine and sends the actual velocity to the driver. The vehicle thermal management system controls the thermal behavior of the vehicle. Let's build the previously shown model from scratch. The build-up starts with an empty model connect window. Insert four FMU components from the components pane. Continue by adding the constant and the signal table. Arrange them in the following way. And rename them accordingly to the roles using the right mouse button. Once the components are arranged, load the FMU files into them. Locate the files on your PC and confirm. After the FMU is loaded, the input and the output ports are generated. Now load the remaining FMUs. After the FMUs are loaded, edit the ports for a better overview. Hide some ports in the engine component. The ports can be renamed in the Port Properties dialog. Since the engine and the vehicle thermal management system communicate using a large number of signals, insert those signals into a bundle connection. This way, many ports can be merged into a single connection. Since the VTMS contains a large number of ports, group them into two bundles. Then edit the port names in the driveline component. Continue by defining the constants in the constant component. The next step is importing the drive cycle data into the signal table. 
create the displayed outputs and import the profile by locating the data file. The imported profile can be seen in the diagram below. Signal properties such as the unit settings, initial values and similar can be modified in the port data dialog. The component parameters can be changed in the parameters dialog. The next step is to connect the components. That can be done in two ways, by connecting two ports directly or by using the bundle connector. To connect two ports, simply select two ports to connect. To make a bundle connection, select the two components and open the bundle connector. In the bundle connector, select matching bundles. Click on suggest connections Select the desired connections and click on Accept. Connect the rest of the components. To modify the connections, move the left mouse button while holding down the Shift key. Move the connection lines to achieve a better model clarity. After the model layout is completed, switch to the simulations window to set up the online monitoring. The purpose of organizing the simulation window is to create a viewing display so the data can be monitored and observed while the simulation is running. Split the screen into four parts. Select the widgets for each of the windows. Insert two curve monitors, a gauge and a multi-value. Assign the channels by using the right mouse button. After the monitoring view is set, the simulation settings need to be defined. In the model settings, define 200 seconds for the simulation end time and set the time step for the simulation to 10 milliseconds. Since the driveline FMU was compiled using a 32-bit platform, the option to use a 32-bit kernel needs to be activated. Run the simulation by pressing the run button. You can observe the results in the monitoring windows. After the simulation has finished, the results can be displayed in the results window. Add a new page and insert a line chart. In the results browser, Locate the signals and add them to the line chart. Rename the line chart. Thank you for watching. For further information on Model Connect, please check out the video description.